We're here at ITU Telecom World 2016 in Bangkok, Thailand on day three, and I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mark Van Koppenolle, who is Global Head of Nokia Government Relations. Mark, thank you very much for being with us in the studio today. Thank you for having me. Now, I'd like to start off by asking you a little bit about uh, regulation and what's the role, in your opinion, regulation in driving growth in the digital economy? Now, if you look at the digital economy, you get a proliferation of ICT into various sectors. And so it's increasingly important that uh, policy and regulation is actually supporting that growth. I think you can look at it in, in, in two ways. You have, of course, the foundation uh, of the Internet of Things and digitalization, which is the, uh, the connectivity, which is very important. And we need to avoid to have connectivity deserts. And as such, it's important that uh, policy and regulation is driving connectivity still. Uh, so making sure that we have incentives for the right investments, making sure that we have a, a lower cost of deployment, we need to have a look at spectrum and all those things. So I think the connectivity part is, is key. On the other hand, uh, to drive Internet of Things, which is also the basis of digitalization, we need a couple of policies there as well which are important. Uh, you get the whole standardization, uh, which is key to have interoperability between all those things. You need uh, data-friendly um, uh, regulations for ensuring that we find the right balance between the privacy but also uh, balancing that with very important new business models on which all these data flows are relying. So a number of things need to be done uh, in policy and regulation to ensure that we get to this growth. And what are the main challenges you're currently facing in this, in this arena? Well, I think that if you look at the digital economy, uh, one of the challenges is that when you talked about connectivity, it's mainly having the interaction with one regulator, telecom ICT. But as you go to Internet of Things and digitalization, uh, we need to have a change of thinking and also involving other regulators from other sectors. So making sure that regulators in charge of health, in charge of transport, in charge of energy, all um, get together together with the ICT industry to make sure that we get to the digitalization of the sector and that we can identify um, uh, incumbent regulations that might hamper the digitalization of that sector. Is cross-sector collaboration necessary and is it possible? Absolutely. I mean, if you look at the fact that uh, various uh, industries are coming together and the digitalization is fostering through all these industries, we need to have uh, cross-sector collaboration. Uh, a couple of examples, perhaps. Uh, in Europe right now, we have the European Commission that fosters a dialogue between the automotive industry and uh, the telecom industry to actually um, uh, get to connected and automated driving. Uh, on the other hand, uh, for instance, at Nokia, we have an NG Connect program, which is bringing together various industries uh, from the IT sector, from the telecom sector, from the consumer electronic sector, and from selected verticals to come together to ideate, uh, to think about new business cases and, and, and new trials. So absolutely, bringing all those sectors together is absolutely key for digitalization going forward. All right, so hopefully that's what we've been doing here at ITU Telecom World 2016. I wanted to find out what's been the value for you of attending this event. Yeah, I think it's, it's a very good platform to actually meet the people, uh, not only from our sector, but also from other sectors and SMEs and startups. I mean, bringing all these people together as new value chains are being thought through is absolutely crucial at this time. So the value is really there for me and, and for our industry, I believe. Mark Bankov, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much.